Welcome back to One Less Than Three Math. This is the 23rd of January 2023 IGCSE Booster Playlist. And we have question eight here as follows. So Rhinoceros watches numerous dinosaur DVDs each day. While we don't know the exact number of DVDs he watches each day, it is a lot. We have the data shown in the table below. So we've got a continuous data table here with class intervals, four class intervals, and the frequency of days when he watched a number of dinosaur DVDs within each class interval. So part A, everyone likes a good part A. Estimate the mean. Part B, write down the modal class. And part C, find the class interval that contains the median. So if you'd like to have a go at this question, please pause your video right now and then I will proceed to go through the explanations and the solution. So we need to estimate the mean. Now we've got, for example, in the first class interval, we've got five days where he watched greater than zero but less than or equal to 100 dinosaur DVDs. Now we don't know these values. It could be anything from 1 to 100, 58, 37, 43, whatever. We don't know. So what we need to do is we need to take a midpoint. Now the midpoint of 0 to 100 would be 50. And what we're going to do is we're going to do midpoint times frequency to find an estimate of the total number of dinosaur DVDs that Rhinoceros has watched. So to calculate estimated mean, we're going to do total midpoint times frequency. That's going to be the, the estimate of the total number of dinosaur DVDs that he's watched. And we're going to divide it by the total frequency, which is the total number of days. So it's basically the number of days as the denominator and the number of dinosaur DVDs as the numerator. And obviously the total number of dinosaur DVDs divided by the total number of days will give us a mean. So we'll proceed as follows. So the first midpoint is 50. 50 times 5 is 250. The second midpoint is 110, because the, the class interval goes from 100 to 120. 110 times 11 is 1,210. The next midpoint, and you've got to check that the, the midpoints are accurate because the class intervals don't necessarily go up in the, in the same order. The next midpoint is 140. 140 times 24 is 3,360. And finally, the final midpoint is 180 times 15, which is 2,700. So we need to total these values up, these estimates of dinosaur DVDs. So we're going to add the four of them up, and we're going to divide by the total frequency. Now, a common mistake would be to divide by four because there's four columns but we need to divide by the total frequency, which is 5 at 11, add 24, add 15, because that's how many days there were. So it's 7,520 divided by 55, and that gives us a mean of 136.72 recurring. The little dots above the 7 and the 2 show that the 72 recurs, 72, 72, 72, 72, 72 and 72 forever. All right, now... You can check that's accurate by looking at your data and saying, well, the numbers of dinosaur DVDs that he's, he's watched were greater than zero and less than or equal to 200. And actually, most of them fell in the 120 to 160 bracket. So that's a, a reasonable answer. Check your calculations again, just to make sure you've got the right answer if you're doing this on an exam paper. And then you're maximizing your chances of getting those marks. So the modal class is a little bit easier. You just look at the the highest frequency. It's the class interval that has the biggest frequency. The biggest frequency is 24. So the modal class, the modal class interval is 120. D is greater. Dinosaur DVD is more than 120, less than or equal to 160. So that's the modal class. Just by identifying the highest frequency, you can identify the modal class. And then finally, the class interval that contains the median. This is often something that people find hard to do. The class interval where the cumulative frequency, the running total, goes past the middle value. So what does that mean? Well, our middle value, we had 55 values in total because that was the total frequency. We divided that by 2. It's 27.5. So we're going to see, see where the cumulative frequency goes past the 28th value. So the cumulative frequency for the first column up to 100 dinosaur DVDs is 5. The second cumulative frequency up to 120 dinosaur DVDs is 16. Why is it 16? Because 5 out of 11 is 16. 
Then we're going to add 24. So the next cumulative frequency value is 40, and that takes us past the middle value. So therefore, when it goes past the middle value, that is the class interval that contains the median. So we can write our answer. Same as the, the modal class this time. It's not always the case, but the class interval that contains the median is d is greater than 120, but less than or equal to 160. So please hit the subscribe button if you like this video, or even if you didn't like it, um, and I'll be back with more later on. So hasta la pizza, harry vidurci, so long, goodbye, au revoir, we'll see you next time.